Hey guys, Rich from Rich Big Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. Welcome to this episode six, but episode six, part one of our beginner's guide. Now, why is it part one? Well, as I said in the last video, episode six was all going to be around making attacks. And as I went through and started building it out, I realized that there were so many other things um, that formed making an attack it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't want these videos to be too long, so I've broken it down into different parts. And in part one, we're going to be talking about line of sight. Now, line of sight is something that I have seen cause a little bit of confusion in, in the community. Um, I think especially if you're coming from another gaming system other than Marvel Crisis Protocol, and especially another gaming system that uses you know, true line of sight. Um, there's a couple of things in this that are a little bit more difficult to get your head around. Uh, but once you do, and once you understand that it doesn't use true line of sight, and that there are some rules in place that are very black and white, there is no gray area, I think it's going to be really, really easy to understand uh, and very, very easy to work out while showing a game. Sometimes <clears throat> it doesn't make sense from an actual you know, standpoint of I can't see that person, but yet I can still shoot that person. So sometimes it doesn't make sense depending on the terrain set up and things like that. But hopefully this video will explain absolutely everything you need to know about line of sight. So let's start then and taking a look at um, how you have line of sight. Um, so in its, in its most basic form, right, we've got two characters here, a red character and a blue character. So a character has line of sight if a straight, unobstructed line can be drawn from any part of the character's base, so the character is going to be the one that is looking for line of sight, and or to the object. Now, in this case, the object is going to be the um, defending character or the character that we're trying to have line of sight of. Now, it's not just for attacks. Um, there could be things in this game where you need to have line of sight for some special actions that you can do and those sorts of things. So, um, But in this instance, as we can see, there's nothing in the way, there's nothing obstructing it. So we can draw an unobstructed, un, unobstructed line um, from, from the base to the other base. So that's absolutely fine. That's a thumbs up. We have got line of sight there, but that, that all makes sense. Um, a line can also pass unobstructed through both allied and enemy characters. So you can see here we've added in an allied character, the blue one, but also an enemy character as well. We could still target the character at the back, the red one at the back there, um, because other characters are not going to block our line of sight. Um, now, there may be some exceptions to this in the rule book. Um, when we get other characters, um, you know, there are some some rules around um, not being able to overlap tools on other characters in Marvel Crisis Protocol, characters like Angel, things like that. So it may be that there are some exceptions to this rule, but they'll be clearly stated on a character's um, stat card. So the rule of thumb is it can pass through any characters. The line can also pass through any clear terrain. Um, now, clear terrain, if you remember when we talked about terrain in one of the previous videos, it could be ladders, this could be mesh, um, anything basically that you've deemed can be seen through. It could be a window, for example, it could be a door that's open, uh, but anything that you've agreed before the game starts um, is, is you can see through it, um, then the line of sight is going to be able to pass through them. It can also pass through any blocked terrain with the same or lower elevation than the object, or than the character, sorry. Now, <clears throat> this is where it can get a little bit confusing, especially if you've come from a traditional line of sight, uh, where it uses true line of sight game. Uh, game. Um, so let's go through a quick example here. So we have got our piece of terrain. Um, now for this example, just imagine that we can't see around it, okay? It blocks, it, you know, the, it is wider than the base of either of our characters. Um, and we're gonna have Captain Rex. Uh, he is going to be here and we have got Kalani. Now Rex wants to make an attack into Kalani. So we need to work out if he has line of sight. Now you'll notice that this piece of terrain is taller than both Rex and Kalani. So true line of sighters would look at this and go, okay, it is taller than both of those characters. So there is absolutely no way that 
Rex would have line of sight on Kalani. Unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but in this game, that is not the case. Because all we're concerned about is the elevation. And when we put our range to um our range to range divide tool, sorry, range tool tool, that's the word I was looking for, up against this piece of terrain, we can see that it is actually lower than range two. Both of these characters' bases are at the bottom of that piece of terrain. Therefore, this terrain is at the same elevation as the object, the character that we're trying to attack. So, Rex can actually make an attack into Kalani in this example um, because that terrain is at the same elevation level. And that's one of the bits that people, I think, are really struggling to get their, their heads around. The actual size, the physical height of a character in Shatterpoint is irrelevant when it comes to measuring line of sight. The things that we're interested in are the size of the terrain, the height of the terrain against a range two uh, tool, basically. And then what elevation level that is at. If it's above range two, it's going to be a higher elevation level. If it's range two or below, it's going to be at the same elevation level. I'd like to take a minute to thank the brand new sponsor of the channel, Leodis Games. Leodis are a great local gaming store in West Yorkshire. They stock all of your favourite MCP and Shatterpoint Point products, plus a huge range of other gaming systems. They also have an awesome gaming space where weekly events are held. We've already been running our MCP League that's coming into its fourth season. Uh, we've hosted a number of MCP events and we'll be doing so for Shatterpoint as well so hopefully we can see you guys there at some of the events in the future there'll be a link down in the description below and if you're looking for a place to get all of your hobby purchases at a great price then look no further than leo disc games you can't however pass through blocked terrain features with a higher elevation than the character that you're trying to target now that obviously makes sense so we can see here in this example um that terrain's that little bit higher therefore it's above range two it's a higher elevation than the object that we're trying to attack or we're trying to get line of sight of therefore rex cannot make an attack into kalani i do however want to go back to the same or lower elevation than the character here as well because if we had another piece of terrain that Rex was stood upon, even though that piece of terrain that is in front of Kalani would essentially be blocking him, and actually if you were to, you know, get your little, you know, go to the top and look down, you may not have true line of sight into Kalani because he could be flush all the way up to that, that piece of terrain. Because that terrain is lower than where Rex is, or it's at a lower elevation, he is going to be able to shoot through that and he is going to have line of sight basically or have line of sight and be able to shoot through it. Now, there may be some other benefits that Kalani gets and we'll go into that in a in a future video. Um, but that is um, that would be allowed and you, you are able to do that. Um, the last one then that I want to talk about is when a character or when an object, sorry, is on top of terrain. So if the object is on top of terrain, the line can pass unobstructed through all terrain parts with the same or lower elevation as the object. And this is another one that has been causing a little bit of confusion. Um, again, purely because of the fact that it's slightly different and it doesn't use those true line of sight rules. So let's bring Rex back. Um, and we also have Kalani. Now, Kalani is stood at the very edge and Rex wants to make an attack into Kalani. So he checks if he's got line of sight. And even true line of sighters would see this and go, okay, absolutely fine. But again, we have to remember, we're talking about base to base. We're not talking about height of characters or anything like that. Um, so yeah, absolutely. And this one doesn't confuse um, true line of sighters too much because you can quite clearly see there that um, Rex can, can both see uh, and indeed attack Kalani. However, what happens if Kalani moves further along? Now again, the true line of sighters may look at this and go, okay, well, it doesn't make sense now that Rex can attack Kalani because if you were looking through Rex's eyes, you wouldn't be able to see 
Kalani. But once again, that is not what the rules state. If we look here again, it says the line can pass. So if the object, so the object is Kalani, is on top of terrain, well, Kalani is, the line can pass unobstructed through all terrain parts with the same or lower elevation as the object. Well, the terrain that Kalani is stood upon by proxy because he stood upon it means that it is at the same elevation as the object. And we have to remember the object is what you are trying to see. So Rex, even though true line of sight, he can't see him, he does actually have line of sight because that line can pass unobstructed through all terrain parts with the same or lower elevation as the object. Now, once again, um, Kalani would benefit uh, from covering this example, but we're going to cover we're going to cover cover off in a in a different video. Um, if, however, there was another piece of terrain here, uh, then that would be blocking Kalani's. Sorry, that would be blocking Rex's sight, and he wouldn't be able to see through it. Um, so that is line of sight guys in a nutshell i hope that really really helps i hope it clears it up um for for everybody out there that was getting a little bit confused around it and, and how it does and, and doesn't work a quick reminder guys that we are giving away a um a shatter point uh, core box we're going to be doing it in about a week's time so 4th of may we're going to be doing the draw there are three things you need to do to be with a chance to win that car box. You need to, first of all, subscribe to Richmond Gaming. If you haven't done so already, what are you doing? Like, just do it. Second of all, you need to leave a like. And then thirdly, you need to leave a comment on this video. Um, just let me know your thoughts around line of sight in this game. I understand that it's not true line of sight. And it's going to be a little bit confusing for some people to get their head around at first. But I think once you go through that and you understand those four different key parts there um, then it's going to be very very easy in games as i mentioned there is no gray area where somebody goes oh i can see the tip of that sword there and therefore i'm going to be able to do it um it is i suppose a little bit like the silhouettes that you had in star wars legion but instead of it being on the character it's on the terrain piece so that's that's a little bit of difference there. But let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to be drawing a. I'm going to be picking a video at random, and I'm be, going to be drawing a random comment from that. And that lucky winner will win themselves a Shatterpoint core box. Uh, it, no matter where you are in the world, as well, by the way. So irrespective of where you are in the world, uh, I'm going to be giving that away. Um, also, we do have a Discord up and running. There's a dedicated chat point on there. So all the latest reveals, uh, official and indeed unofficial, translated from Polish into English and so on and so forth, they're all on there. Plus there's a rules forum on there as well. Uh, plus we've also got uh, a little bit on there talking now about putting our strike teams together and what it is we're going to be doing. A big shout out to Leo Disc Games, obviously the new sponsor of the channel. And as I mentioned, we are going to be getting the core box at Leo Disc very, very soon. So once we've got our hands on that, we're going to be doing some live uh, demo game playthroughs as well uh, so keep an eye out for that um, and if you want to support the channel even further we do have our patreon up and running as well where from as little as a pound a month uh, you can support the channel uh, and just help us continue to make this content uh, as i mentioned guys this is part one part two we're going to look at cover and then in part three we're actually going to be a little bit longer but we're going to go through actually making an attack but line of sight was so important um, and this video is already sort of 14 15 minutes long i didn't want to put this in with the rest of it because the video would have been over an hour long and i don't want these to be that long so um anyway there we go guys as always it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well keep safe and until next time may the force be with you